Our team coverage continues now with a look at the other two locations vandalized. Bailey Bates joins us now live from Lions Park. Bailey? Alex, people have been stopping by the park all day, and now they gather to chalk sidewalks in advance of a planned rally tonight. Now they all have one thing in common. They can't believe it happened here. It's really disheartening, you know, that we live in a time that people are, are emboldened to do these types of hateful things. Norman citizens in shock by the damage at Lions Park to a statue of a human head. Swastikas painted over the eyes, covered with a tarp, anti-Semitic and racial slurs spray painted in the parking lot that was rapidly cleaned up. The Firehouse Arts Center released a statement saying these acts unite the Norman community, not divide it. They also said they will continue to offer art education and experiences, and they'll focus on the health and well-being of the community. The third location vandalized last night was McKinley Elementary, just blocks away. The hateful graffiti at the school included sexually insensitive comments and more racial slurs. A statement by the Norman School Superintendent said these acts are in direct opposition of their core values. Parents also expressed their shock. I am appalled. I feel like uh, our community, the McKinley community, is a very inclusive, safe place, and I think that's why we were targeted. Mayor elect Bria Clark and others have planned a community rally here at Lions Park tonight at 6 o'clock. They plan to strike back with love. Reporting live at Lions Park, Bailey Bates.